Look at your phone. Everything you're seeing right now is made with AI. The image you're looking at right now was made oh, with AI. I His thought it was voice. like a one, two, three, go. No. <laughs> oh, snap. His voice is AI. That's this wild. is AI. <laughs> you are not about to see anything or hear anything that isn't AI generated. Dude, this is... I will make predictions sometimes that even I'm like, God, is it really going to happen? This is what I knew was coming. Yeah. Powered by the all-new Sora 2. Dude, that looks like a video game for anybody not That's looking. The most powerful imagination engine ever built. Yes, correct. This is insane. And it's packed with new features. Uh, to build unicorns on the moon, by the way. And the dust is kicking up as you'd expect. And I love how they focus on real life examples, like actual video. Yeah. Not animation, not some oh, type of oh, stuff. Oh, get there. Real and life. I have some clips of anime. Yeah. That anime is way harder to do than real life, and they've nailed Sora it. Sora 2 is also the state of the art for Bro, motion, look at this. Come IQ. on. Not just the visual quality, because we've been able to do visual fidelity like VO3 is dope. Watch how accurate to physics it is. So it understands, oh, if you've got a snowmobile going across ice, it's going to kick up some ice behind it, which you will see. They do some water simulation. I don't know if it's all in this video, but so many videos have gone around. There's one of Attack on Titan where a Titan reaches out and grabs the wall and like crushes it and it crushes where his finger actually hits it. Mm. There's one of like an ocean where the surf meets a big rock, but the rock has a hole in it and the water actually punches through the hole and reacts the way it would react in real life if there was a hole there. So that meant that the generation it created understood this is a hole and this is how water would react to a hole when it's got this kind of velocity from a wave. Sheesh. Dude, if they don't show up in this video, there's another one of a gymnast and it doesn't do all the weird like stuff that it has done historically because it understands how a body moves through space. Look at that. Look at how the light affects it. Jesus. Yep, it now understands how the dress would twirl. It understands how her body would move. Oh my God. And we're introducing Cameo, giving you the power to step into any world Bro, or scene. Oh, come on. Your friends cast you in theirs. Here, look, 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 look. You see that hole at the bottom of the rock and the water shoots out differently? Jesus. On the path to AGI, the gains aren't just about productivity. It's about creating new possibilities. It's also about creativity and joy. One, two, three, four. The, when they start, this is claymation. When they start getting into the, um, this is so wild. Look at the water, man. Look at the water. Look how realistic that is. Now look, the stuff still isn't perfect. There are certain things that are like just enough off, but remember, it will never be this bad again. Yeah. It will never be this bad again. Let that sink in. It only gets better. And what is crazy to me, Drew, is that people will still clown on this and be like, oh, bro, you can still see. La, la, la. It's the rate of improvement that needs to freak people out. Less than three years ago, this was Will Smith eating the spaghetti and it was yeah, like everywhere oh, behind his head. Less than three years. So what happens now three years from now? Dude, this is why. Okay, 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 okay. Stop. Everybody, you need to understand this as you watch the next clip. Making things that are photorealistic look right is the easy part. Ooh. So making something look that was harder. Real, nope, wait. Because okay. you have so much training data. Got it. People are uploading photorealistic content in the millions of hours every day. Yeah. So you just train the models endlessly, <laughs> just chunking through all of that to get an animated series. I mean, you're going to get a thousand hours a year. So millions of hours a day versus a thousand hours a year. Mm -hmm. The difference is so massive that I was like, is AI ever going to have enough data? Yeah. Like I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure that there are enough patterns because there's so many different styles. They have done something to the algorithm's ability to learn between Sora 1 and 2, because this isn't they now have more things to train on. In the last three years, you've maybe gotten 6,000 additional hours. That's nothing. I mean, that's like yeah. the world's most ridiculously small rounding error. But they have found a way to make the algorithm more effective. So, okay, with all of that preamble, 
Now watch how good this animate. This is all AI. You're wide open. Hmm. Just one. Even the performance and the voices are close. You're finished, Shinikami. Like hell I am. That's Zero. I mean you can tell it's AI, Get but that's what his voice shot. sounds like in the anime. Mm -hmm. I'm not done yet. Yeah, this is so wild. This is for Attack on Titan fans. Like, dude, this is so good. It's so real. Like, I know what character that's Levi. Like, you know who these are. Oh my god, this is insanity. This is insanity. I had one of those moments yesterday where I'm like, I'm gonna just quit everything. And now, now is the time. And I just make YouTube videos based in Kaizen World, Kaizen of the Air Gap, Project Kaizen. That's it. I do nothing else. Like, this is one of those, if we can prove the model out, bro, like, now I can build a business around telling my stories without having to hire a 50 person animating team. Yeah. Like, this 50 is crew to shoot it. in sanity. This is insanity. So the only thing that I, I think is still missing is you can still only do it on characters that already exist, but because uh, okay. it does need some amount of training data. Yeah. So the question becomes, how expensive will it be to create the baseline of those? It's probably still too expensive. But if tools come out that let you train them yourself, I'm going to guess a year from now that you get something open source that allows you to train it. Because those those models already exist. Yeah. You just need to, it needs to be physics aware. And then you need to be able to feed it your own characters. This happened much faster. I thought we were still, I would say four months ago, I thought we were 18 months away from this. So I thought we were still 14 months away from this. The fact that it's come out this fast is starting. And to your point, they just said Bill will be back in Sora 3. What are we going to be a year from now? I have to be honest. I have to give you your credit. I have to say this publicly because you have been one of the people that have been telling me from day one, Drew, use AI. Drew, use AI. I did a musical last year. You're like, yo, Drew, just upload your music. Just do it. Nah, I got to mix it and I got to, well, the new AI model, just upload it. So seeing something like this come out is like, I was like, oh yeah, I'll do it next week when I get some time off. You know, I'll be in the hotel room. I can just bang some stuff out. I don't even have the time to push it off and wait till later because it's gonna, it's gonna be, so fast. now I'm like, I could do the whole thing. <laughs> I could put the whole show in and yes. it, it just opened up more things. So like to the people that have said, that you have said like, hey, AI is important. Maybe they see it like, give, give us a wake up call, give us an alarm. I know I'm using uh, analogies that are applicable to V right now, but a lot of people are thinking like, oh, okay, AI is coming for our job, sure. And then they kind of like tune it out. They see one bad video. Oh, AI is not there yet. But this rate of change is crazy happening right now. So, so what I will say as a PSA is that you're, if you're fighting back against this, you are a lamplighter. You are a horse and buggy manufacturer. And the reality is there's, you can fight against electricity as much as you want. You can fight against the automobile as much as you want. They're going to happen. And I just did a video on this. Like you need only think about game theory. Game theory tells you AI is going to be developed no matter what, no matter how dangerous it is. It doesn't matter. It is not going to stop. It is not going to slow down. We can't afford to because other people will do it. Any technology that has an advantage will be developed. And AI has a tremendous advantage. It is going to be developed at breakneck pace with all the brakes ripped off. That is how it's going to happen. Now, given that, if you're watching the rate of change and you don't realize like how much difference a year makes, you don't have to project out very far. So if it took us three years to go from the original Will Smith eating spaghetti to now things that are truly photorealistic that understand physics, just go out five years. In five years, every single piece of content is made with AI, still may be made by humans. Mm -hmm. Not saying that this will be like uh, slot farms, just over generating things that don't matter, but those are gonna be the tools. No one's gonna deal with working with real actors. No one's gonna deal with grips and electricians and all that. You're just gonna go in, use the tools, which within five years, 100%, you'll have this level of control. You create all the characters, you give them a backstory that you'll work with AI to write. And then literally over, cause it'll still probably take a certain amount of time to render. So let's say over the course of a couple hours, you render an episode of television or a feature film and that's it. And algorithms will be used to bring the best content to the surface. Don't worry in terms of, it's not all just gonna be slop, but what you want to think about is, do we actually want slop? I think the answer is yes. I think people are being derogatory about it now in the same way that people are being derogatory about shorts. But the reality is one of the things that I most enjoy doing with my wife is sitting down and for an hour just watching funny short videos. It's 
wonderful. It's a thing that's added like joy to my life. Like it's incredible. So there's going to be a change. And for us old people, there's going to be a mourning period of like, oh, video games will be different. Entertainment will be different, uh, but it is all going to happen. And so my advice to you is to learn how to use it, to fall in love with it as an art form, not just be the old get off my grass fuddy duddy, but like actually find a way um, to engage with it and to enjoy it. And then the stuff that you already love, there'll be some sort of niche place for it. But this, in the next five years, it will be the difference between standing in line, 1989, to get a movie ticket to see the original Batman at the movie theater later that day and TikTok. That will be what's going to happen in the next five years. It will radically transform. So just brace yourself for that.